Hello, hello everybody. This is Kiru Show here, and now, before we do begin, let's give a brief little review. In the last part, we had Deku, Rose, and Talia. Now, Deku, he has been a little bit busy. Things have been complicated. With Rose, things seem simple. He can work with her. She's easy to work with. She's, well, what's the right word? Very open. Talking to her is like talking to a professional. However, things with Talia. I mean, to put it very bluntly, there is a phrase for how to deal with her. And Deku, he's not too sure if that phrase is a good thing or a bad thing right now. Because, well, Talia has made it quite clear. Deku, he is a target in her eyes. Not for murder, however. She's taken an interest in the detective's prodigy, and that does say quite a bit. Because Deku, he's shown to be a ruthless killer. He has great rage. He has great willpower. He has proficiency with deadly combat. And well, the Dark Knight, he doesn't do what Gotham needs. And Rachel Ghoul, he is willing to create a Batman to save that city even from itself. Now, the Joker started a few games in Gotham, and he tried to blackmail every major criminal, including the Joker. Now, with that being said, Deku has gone through more and more training, and people, they have actually started to comment on a man popping up in the underworld. And even the Joker, he got wind as to the sky. Because, well... He used to have an old mantle, and apparently someone, they're a fan! Now, we do actually have about over a year later. Deku has gone through more and more training, and by this time, Deku is closer to the age of 20 years old. Now, right now Deku, he is standing on a rooftop, and right now he does sit there in the Jason Todd uniform. Or, well, the Red Hood uniform. Deku has certainly done quite a bit. People know who he is. He has a reputation in the underworld now. People, they know him. If they have hits, they pay him. And, well, today he's going to premiere in Gotham. Batman assumably should know who he is. He's using the Red Hood's old moniker. And that will tell him everything. If Bruce is smart enough, he'll piece it together. If Bruce gave up, he won't. And right now, Deku, he wants to see how that does go. As right now, we do actually have on our rooftop. Where, right now, Batgirl, she's running. And right now, she's thinking about what to do. A lot of complicated things have been happening. Things have been tricky. Gotham's back to normal after the latest villain's catastrophe. And the latest villain, he did this, or he did that. At this point, it's just routine. Her leaping from a rooftop. And right now, she just think. Routine. That's all this has turned into. A job? No. A choice. She chose to do this. She still remembers what happened with Joker. Those wounds, they healed. Physically, but mentally. Bruce told her. The pain made her stronger. She got better. And that does mean one day she'll be closer to recovery. It may never go away. The pain will always remain there. But the blisters, the searing agony that it used to be, it will cool down with time. And the best way of saying it, it's like a hot piece of metal. It burns bright at, right after it happens. But with time, that metal cools down. And every time you touch it again, it will hurt less and less. Until eventually, you can hold on to it without letting go. It will still hurt. But you don't have to let go of it for it to go away. Now, that is where Batman has her at right now. And right now, Barbara, she actually is swinging over the city. 
However, she was going to start hearing, she does start hearing a few gunshots. And there actually is Deku down below. Right now, Deku, he tried talking to a few people. And nobody really wanted to listen. Now, right now, Deku, he actually is going to stab a guy directly ping to a wall. Before he does it tell him. He's the designated survivor. He should feel lucky. Because, well, his friend, he was his choice. Until he decided to try and pull a gun. Then again, he's not sorry about that. Now, right now, Barbara, he does get to hear it. He hears the line, get pulled taut. And right now, Deku, he does get to fade into the shadows. If this is Bruce, he needs to see him. Now, Barbara, she actually has come flying down. And right now, she's going to look around before going to bring her hand up to her ear and press on her comm system. And we do actually have it back at the back cave. Well, right now, Bruce, he was made alert as to what was going on. And right now, Nightwing does decide to jump on the line. Now, right now, Nightwing, Barbara, and Bruce, they all start talking. Because right now, Tim, he's a bit busy upstairs at the manor. Right now, Barbara, she was trying to give a rundown. She found something right now, and it doesn't look good. Now, Barbara looked around, and there actually was with a guy, he sat there pinned to the wall with a knife in his arm, just somewhat trying to stay quiet. If he talks, that guy might fucking kill him. He's still got to be around here, right? Creeping around? No, no, no. He can tell the heroes what he knows. And then, they'll put him in jail. Please, put him in jail. Now, right on the guy, he actually goes to whimper out in pain. And Batgirl just going to turn her head to look tricky at him. As right now, she does at least talk about a survivor. And Bruce, he does just ask her questions. What happened? Is there any identifying factors? Is there a Joker card there? This could be a trap. And Batgirl, she's already scanned the area. She didn't see anything remotely out of the norm. Other than these guys being brutal. Oh god, that guy's leg was twisted off like a drumstick. Now, right now, Barbara, she's going to turn her head, telling Bruce about the graphic scene. And right now, after she's going to walk over and help the guy get the knife out of his arm, she actually is going to look at the model of it and the way it is. It looks. Huh, normal. Nothing out of the ordinary, but prints would be good. Now, Barbara does get to put the knife into a bag. And right now she's going to slip it directly into a pocket towards the back of her belt. Now, she'll get to at least try and interrogate this man. However, he's way more than willing to give up any information. And Deku does somewhat sit there. As right now Barbara, she will go to end the communications with Batman. And Deku... He does get to watch her. As right now, she just goes to turn her head and look around. She feels unnerved. No, no, she, she's fine. Now, Deku, he does see her. He wanted to encounter Batman first. But she knows very little about him. Hmm. Okay. Maybe she does know something, though. He could definitely use her help. She'd want to be on his side, especially after what he heard the Joker did to her. Now, Deku is going to step out of the shadows, and right now Barbara will going to turn and bring out a, well, battery. As right now, she does going to start jump, as Deku is going to tell her. Honestly, he's got to say, her going to see the man standing there. As right now, he does have body armor on, a utility belt, and a red mask. Now, he was going to stare at the man before in telling him, Did he do this? And Deku does just go to bring his hands up, informing her, That's not really any of her concern. Besides, he's kind of on a personal vendetta here. So, she needs to stand down. Tell him, though, has she found the Joker? Now, Barbara, she is somewhat stricken by surprise. And Deku, he does not see her hands tremble 
whenever he mentioned the Joker. No. Look at his director. Before telling Barbara, he knows a lot about what happened to her. In fact, he knows quite a bit about what happened to everybody. So, he'll tell her this. I'm going to bring his hands up to his belt. And so I'm going to go to fold his thumbs on the inside of his pants. And Barbara does go to watch his hands. As Deku does go to somewhat relax a bit, telling her. Right now, he's back in Gotham to help out. In fact, they can call him the new Dark Knight. The ones that criminals will actually be afraid of. Now, Barbara, yeah, this guy is acting like Batman, but this, this is not Batman, this is like a mercenary. Now, Barbara should ask him, who put a hit on the clown? And Deku would tell her, no one, he just wants to kill the fucking Joker. I mean, that's the first person. Now. Deku is going to bring his hand up to his head, putting it to the side of his mask. As right now, he does going to tell them, they'll get their time. Just shut up. He's busy. Now, Barbara will go to bring her hands up, telling him, if he has people nearby, then she'll take them all down. Batman's on his way. Don't think he can get away from all of this. And Deku is going to tell her, yeah... He kind of already has. He's going to throw his hands up, as right now he does to throw out flash grenades. Now, Barbara does try to throw a battering at one. And whenever it does get to contact the grenade, it does get to burst it open as the other one does get to flash. Now, right now, Red Hood, he'll get a turn. And going to bring out a grappling hook, shooting it upwards into the air. Him being able to grapple away, as Barbara right now, she is temporarily blinded. And right now, she does go to someone turn and try and blink her eyes. She does still someone see white spots in her vision. And right now, Batman does hear about it. And right now, he's concerned. Now, right now, people, they start to talk about it. And Batman, he does someone have to go back and open up a file. Now, we do actually cut to the manor. Where Bruce, he's sitting there at the chair. And he does want to look at some of the screenshots and pictures he has from not only witnesses and civilians, but cameras around Gotham. This guy, he's good. And that does see quite a bit. His gear. It definitely does show deviations. Let's see. It's almost like a mixture of his kit and Deathstroke's. No, no. That's too simple. This guy learned something. Okay, so what is his background? His background is that of a fighter. Interrogation tactics. Some of them look to be his own. And others, more brutal? Ones he used to employ. Hmm. So he's a fan of Batman's earlier work. But then Batman must have went soft. That's what this guy must be thinking, right? That's why the men are dead. And he's going after the Joker. Personal vendetta. Okay, that gives him a list. But the problem is going to be narrowing it down. Hmm. Damn it. That clown. Still locked up, isn't he? <sighs> okay. Okay. He needs to get out there himself. Now, right now Batman, he does go to leave the cave. And Robin, he's informed that Bruce has gone out. Now, Robin, he does want to head out himself. However, right now we do actually have where Nightwing or Dick try to tell Robin otherwise. Because this guy seems to be, well, you know, on the warpath. Now, Robin, yeah, they kind of deal with Bane every now and then, and even Clayface. So, this guy, he's just some guy in a long list. However, Dick tries to tell him, it's not just that. And right now, we do actually cut over to Deku. As right now, he does want to breathe a little heavy, and he does try to think. 
He kind of forgets what happened at the tail end of there. That part. But what was it? They're going to go to someone to sweep the blood off of his swords. As right now, he does a look around the room. As about several different people, they've all been dismembered and gutted. And right now, Deku, he is going to turn, walking to a door. Hey, I'm going to kick it open, as right now the man, he does a try and shoot at Deku. And Deku, he does a bring out the sword. Him hey, going to slash the bullet out of the air. As right now there actually is, where he does going to fire another shot. And Deku, he is just going to bring up his arm, blocking it with a piece of his body armor. Now, the man does stare at Deku. And Deku, he actually is going to throw out a knife, smashing it directly into the man's hand. Stabbing it through as the man drops the gun and screams out in pain. Now, Deku is going to step forwards, grabbing the man and throwing him against the wall. Before going to actually bring out his hand, grabbing at the man's wrist and throwing it upwards into the air. Smashing his flat hand into the knife. And stabbing the man directly into the wall. And Jason, or, well, Izuku, would tell the man. Right now, he's going to make this quite clear. He has... A few seconds before he lets go of him and that knife tears through multiple things. It'll tear through cartilage and it will damage nerves and bone. So tell him, if you would rather try and keep at least two of his fingers on that hand alive, then he wants to know, where is the clown? Now, the man is trying to tell him, he doesn't know. The clown he just sort of popped up. I mean, hell, he was being called out by Riddler back in the day. But then he just disappeared. I mean, people were saying that Enigma, he got gassed by Joker, but no one knows what happened. Now, Duck is annoyed. The Joker is still planning his schemes. What does he have? Now, Deku. He does at least go to look at the man and tell him, Is that it? Is that everything? And the man would try and tell Deku, That was it. Now, Deku is going to bring his hand up to the man's throat. And right now, he does going to press him into the wall. And the man is stare at Deku right now with fear in his eyes. And Deku does hear the madness of the Lazarus pit. It's calling for blood, it's calling to be satiated. They're all thirsty, and right now, the sweet taste of iron is what they crave. Now, Deku, he does stare at the man, and right now, wherever he is pressing down more and more, there actually is where he does going to bring up his other hand. And right now, that man, yeah, he is choked to death by Deku. And Deku does not back away, as the man, he does going to fall, and the knife slips through his hand. Now, we do actually have Batman. Who right now we're going to see Deku leaving the area. As Batman, he does look down. And Deku, he does look to turn his head and look up. And there's nobody there where Deku looks. As he is going to turn and begin to start making his way into a sprint. Now, Bruce is currently going to give chase. And right now he is intrigued. Him actually watching the way Red Hood does going to move. Now. Deku currently does get a bolt across the rooftop. And right now there actually is where he does get a step onto something and leap off. Before Bruce is to watch. He's not going to make that clearing. It's too far. It's too long. It's too... Deku actually going to bring out his hand. And right now there actually is where he does get a grab onto a wire as he's falling. Him going to pull down the clothesline as right now he does go tumbling down to the side. Now. Deku right now he does make his way down to the bottom of the arch, as right now he's going to throw up his hand with his grappling hook. And right now Batman is going to see it, the man going upwards as he is going to let go. And right now he is going to go flying through the air, almost like an acrobat. He sees this performance. Now, Batman does try to give chase, him leaping down with his grappling hook in hand. Now, right now Deku. Him and Batman, they are in a chase. And Batman, he actually is a bit more intrigued. Especially whenever he's led to an abandoned warehouse. And he does try to ask him. He's trying to find the Joker. Why exactly is that? 
Come on, big bad Batman. You gotta know why. I have theories and ideas. You do. So what do you know? I know that you're a psycho. Huh, <laughs> please. You don't know a lot about me, do you? Come on, Batsy. Now, Batman does hear that. And he does want to think. This isn't the Joker. Not some game, right? No. The Joker, he's less serious. He's the comedian. He's always trying to get a laugh out of him. But this guy, he's trying to get a rise out of him. And Deku, you could try and ask Batman, why has he never killed the Joker? That's what he wants to know. I mean, he's heard about a few things that have happened. He's curious to know why exactly the Joker hasn't been killed. Is it because of his moral code? That thing he tries to strive for? He wants him to know. He always thought that that philosophy was flawed. Now, Batman is trying to talk back to the Red Hood. And right now, the Red Hood, he doesn't respond. And Batman, he's left there in the warehouse. As right now, he does try to think about what to do. He needs to find and track down the Red Hood. This is bad. Very bad. But this is a personal vendetta. Okay. Joker. If he breaks out of Arkham. No. No, no. This can't be right. Okay. Okay. He knows what he has to do. It does somewhat suck. But he's going to go need to talk to Joker. Now. Right now, Batman, he does head over to Arkham. And he does head to a place deep, under the old asylum. Now, Batman does walk into an area where the Joker, he currently is locked in a maximum security prison. And right now, that is where he does lie. And right now, whenever Batman is walking up, Joker is going to turn and swing his legs out from his cell. I'm going to stand up. And right now, Joker, he does try to tell Batman, or Batsy, exactly how long it's been since he's had a visitor. Now, Batman is trying to ask him, does he have a protege? Hmm? <laughs> no. Other than Harley, I've got nobody, Bats. Except for you. So what is it? Finally here to kill me? What is it? I've got so much time to... be busy. Joker, you're doing nothing here. I'm scheming my escape, Betsy. Don't ruin it. Do you have a protege? No. Why? Someone's become the Red Hood. I was wondering if you knew anything about this. <laughs> oh, wow. Take me down a trip of memory lane, aren't we? That's a long time ago, Batsy. Long, long time ago. I know. But they're using your own monitor to kill. Along with that, you're on their list. Now, Joker is trying to ask, is he an amateur? And Batman will go to stare at the Joker. And Joker, he does want to smile. Okay, good. If a killer is using his old moniker, he at least wants them to be good about it. Fuck. So hard to find professionals these days. Now, right now, Joker, he does stare at Batman. And Batman does stare back at the Joker. Something isn't right about him. Let's see. His last visit was months ago. Hmm. Now, Batman would say something to Joker. Say something to Joker. And right now, Joker, he doesn't act the way Batman wants him to. Before he does a turn and go to break the controls to the cell. And the cell is going to open up. And Joker, right now in a straight jacket, he does not going to back away. Telling Batman to stay away from him. Because he's got something on him he doesn't want him to stab him with. Now, Batman, yeah. Joker would not have said that. 
Batman, he was going to walk forwards and quickly take down the man, dressed as the Joker. Now, Bruce right now doesn't want to know. How? Why? Does he know what he just did? And the man right now, he does sit there. As you do cut to somewhere else. Where Joker right now does sit in a warehouse, reading a newspaper and expressing. This new boy here. He doesn't really respect his elders, does he? No, he doesn't, Mr. J. Hmm, let's see. At least he's doing something right. Murdering criminals. And using my name to do it. Isn't that something, Harley? Of course, Mr. J. Hmm. All right, maybe I want to meet this new boy. Hmm. See what he can do. Maybe see if he's willing to work together. No. Right now, Deku, he does currently sit in an apartment. And right now, he actually does somewhat go to crack his neck and think he's just going to sit down. Definitely has been a bit of a crazy night. He got to see Bruce again. And he's disappointed. He's slowing down. He could have caught him back in his heyday. Huh. Batman's getting old. Isn't that something? Now, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed. And have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys in the next part.